Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake There's our shocking end Unlockables Let's get back in on it Gonna load game, I always do load game over continue if I have the option So here is where we got to last time We put our pieces in we did our puzzle. We fought William again. G. Sherry cries out in a small voice. Daddy. And just like that, the two are once again split up. Claire is unlocked, knocked unconscious in the chaos and wakes up later to see a woman in a white coat, who is, of course, Annette Birkin. Right. Uh, let's have a little think about what we want to do here. I'm thinking... I want to put this, for now, back on our shortcut. And I might actually put this on here. Now, I'm probably not going to use it too urgently, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. Okay, now, we did the chess puzzle. We did all of that stuff. Um, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to move on. We've done pretty much everything that we can in our current situation and we should be able to rescue Sherry. You'll remember we knocked William off into the abyss with uh, a big old crate. As Martin said, I guess uh, I guess G simply could not contain her. Kachunk. Okay, and that sounds a little bit more concerned now. Sherry? Claire? Sherry, are you alright? Oh, she's not looking well. What are you doing? I'm here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. Are you fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him... This conversation is over! Wait! Wait! I, I can treat her. In my lab. It's not far away. Mommy? Oh, so now you can treat her. There's not enough time. Millions of lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. <laughs> oh no, she turned off the camera. Are you kidding me? Right, we need to get to the lab. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Well, why are you doing this? Because I care. Because I don't have to save the world. Ah, oh, what a nice, uh, if slightly harrowing moment. Wow, she's real fast for someone carrying a child. Look at this. Okay, nothing in the garbage room, apart from Sherry, who I'd like to say not garbage. Sherry's a cool person. Uh, I think we need to head to the cable car platform. Um, now we do need to head to the cable car platform, but I think we need a... Don't we need a ticket to get to the cable car platform? Maybe, uh, maybe Sherry's got one on her. Well, we'll head out and, uh, maybe we'll just be able to take the, the cable car. Because with Leon, we had to, uh, get our hands on a, a little, uh, thing for the cable car. But, um, maybe with, uh, maybe with Sherry we'll be okay. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Oh, dear. Well, listen, Annette's got, uh, she, you know, she, she's kind of uh, right that she's got to deal with the the problem. But, uh, you know, you got to look after your daughter. It, and also, if her daughter's been infected, uh, the thing we learned about the G-Virus yesterday is that um, the people who are relatives of the host creature, which is William, uh, are the ones who are able to be... Oh, she's got a 
thing, of course. Perfect. So yeah, relatives of the the host are the ones who are able to take the parasite fully to completion. So if anything, that would imply that okay. presumably Sherry, uh, the the virus could actually gestate inside Sherry and make her a dangerous creature so like William. Okay. So we need to treat it before before we get to that stage. She's already got a real funky eye. That's not just like her eyes, like her entire eye socket has gone yellow. That is wild. We check everything. Okay, we better check everything. I don't think we can come back from here. I know there's some stuff here. I'm not going to worry about that. And see, Claire's like, well, we're going to be able to come back from here. But I think we'd have to spend ammo to get there because there was a big old creature. So knuckle down. We're going to the lab. Kachunk. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Is there a, are there stops along the way? Hey. Are you okay? I know Claire's slight, but that coat should be bigger on Sherry, I feel like. She is quite a small child. Yeah, I know. I wish I had it on. My brother gave it to me. I know it's supposed to be lucky. It's a nice jacket, actually. I could go for a, a red leather jacket. It's very cool. Ah. Kidding me? You were doing just fine without me until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. Uh, it's from my mom. For my birthday last year. Uh, all I really wanted was for her to be home more. I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but... Uh, hey, uh, Sherry, come here. Uh, Hey, hang in there, okay? Now, arriving at next. Okay, we made it. Perfect. It's okay. I've got you. Come on. All right. Let's get this girl uh, treated. And you know, yes, her mum does have a uh, pressing things to deal with, but uh you know, you'd think she'd just be like, look, okay, if you can't help, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Because I can't do whatever you're doing. Let me, let me save the girl. Okay, there's a box here. Doesn't seem like we can use it, though. Um, I guess we can't really do anything while we've got Sherry. But hopefully that means we won't run into too much trouble. Famous last words. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's look, the lab's right here. She must have been to the lab before because she's got a key code... Uh, card for your safety stand clear until the doors are fully open for your safety stand clear until the doors are fully open that's a lot of doors i don't know i don't know what they were planning all right i'm not waiting any longer that's as long as they're going to stay oh there's a safe point in there can we save with Sherry? No. You can't do anything. We've got to put this girl down. Okay, where are we going? Because there's a door right ahead of us. That looks like a... A reasonable place to put her. Okay. Um... There you go. Alright. Now what? There's got to be something here. Antiviral agent. That's it. That's got to be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. I got to go. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. She's doing well, our Claire. ID wristband and no frills wristband. Have a little look at that. I don't think there's anything special about it. Just has the, the single 
Install with a visitor level access chip. Perfect. It's weird that they make um, the same chip for everyone and then just change the code on it. Oh, the door closed behind us. That's a bit sinister. Okay. Important. Nest wide alert. Due to an incident in the north area, all Nest personnel are to immediately use the Devil antiviral agent on themselves. Devil is the only way to prevent G mutation. If you have been infected with the G virus, seek help immediately to target and destroy the G cells in your body. This email is automatically generated in the event of an emergency. Please do not reply to this message. Okay, so I wonder if, and it seemed like someone had just been in here because there was a chair spinning. Uh, I wonder if Annette left that open for us. That's my, that's me being very generous to Annette is maybe she, uh, she knew we'd be coming and she's like, well, if, if, if they get in here, I'll leave them the information they need to get Sherry saved. But uh, that's about all I'm going to give her, Sherry. <laughs> okay. Oh, some pizza. Sherry, you want some pizza? It's got pepperoni on it. You like pepperoni? You know, I don't feel great about putting her on this bloody bed, but uh, I suppose it's the best that we've got right now. Interesting also, these doors just don't close. That's a little bit weird. Okay, we've got some, uh, some stuff to read here. Nap room log. Toby Jackson entered 344, left 731. Sara Takahashi, Walt Page, Anthony White, Cyril Archer, Desmond Locke, Wayne Lee. Wayne Lee never left. Uh, I do remember that from last time. I think we actually might encounter him in the, in the sleep pods. Uh, we'll store that. Um, what do we want to hold here? I'm, I'm actually kind of tempted to put the spark shot away for now because we're not doing any kind of boss action. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. I don't think there's too much more boss fight action until we clear the lab pretty much. I could be mistaken about that. Um, but I kind of want to deposit this just so that we're not carrying around too much stuff because we probably will pick up a fair amount of stuff as we're going around. You know, and if we're really desperate that we need it, we can always pick it up and, and come back. But uh, we might have to deal with liquors. Certainly a possibility. Acid rounds, from my understanding, very good on liquors, which we are not currently carrying. Okay, so we can't go to the main shaft, unfortunately. We're going to need to upgrade our thing. But the good news is, we can head over to the nap room and the kitchen and the cafeteria. Which will hopefully get us what we need. Now, ideally, we want to not reload here because we have the additional... <clears throat> the additional power thing power thing the extended magazine that's what i want to say i don't know why i said power thing but we do have an extended magazine looks like some action has gone down here that's for sure okay people are live in the cafeteria the living dead you might say we can't go down here because access is denied but i believe we can go through the cafeteria and get into the back room Okay. Asshole. Okay. Let's try and deal with this chap. Big crits, Claire. Were you getting any crits today? We had no crits yesterday. Shit. This guy is still going. Very, very resilient, these chaps. I mean, I suppose they're zombies. But it's very interesting to me how resilient they made them in Resident Evil uh, 2. Come on, come out into the corridor. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is like a whole ammo. And I know we have a better gun. But, uh... Okay, I'm going to shoot the rest of this ammo and then we're going to combine our...
Okay, here we go. Optimal. We'll get the most we can out of this. Uh, we're going to combine it. Like so. Ba-boom. Gives us 26 rounds, which is, is pretty decent. Hell is up with you. Okay, she is still... Troublesome. Anything over here? There is some stuff in this guy's crotch. Which we will take. It's a hand grenade. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, Martin. Um, let's just reload. Okay, loads of stuff in the cafeteria. I love a tasty selection of healthy foods. No worries, no worries at all. We've uh, we've not done too much. We've uh, rescued Sherry. You know the you know the trick. Oh no! Can't even hit when she's not looking at me. Wow, she just carried that guy. Honestly, impressive. Okay, now if she comes this way, we can probably just go around her. I suspect she'll probably have trouble turning around. There is some more stuff here. Stuff in the, uh, the kitchen. We're going to keep an eye out and see if we can... Oh, no! Oh, come on, Claire. <laughs> the lunge on these boys. Son of a bitch. Oh, she's coming as well. Oh, no. Is there more stuff here? There's more stuff somewhere in here. Oh, a knife. I don't want to use a grenade. I think I'd rather use a use a grenade. Unfortunate there. You <laughs> just squat rack, but yeah, exactly. Like from from like kneeling down as well. That's really something. I don't even think we get our knife back. Oh, and this woman's getting up as well. Okay, we do get our knife back. That's good. I want my knife back. I want to re-equip my knife. I want to find out what on earth we're missing in here. Because there's definitely still something. I thought I'd got it all. But apparently not. I don't know. Maybe and maybe it counts, it counts the cafeteria as like the same area, but it's not done that at any other point. So that would be weird. This guy's still awake as well. You know, we're just gonna have to go up, and uh, we'll always we can always come back in. I should have just gone in first time, and I probably would have avoided a lot of the damage that we took. But. Uh, I figured, you know, I may as well just pick everything up while we're here. Some gunpowder large. Some uh, eggs, I think. And pancakes. Like a waffle iron. Okay, well, we still do not have everything. A knife? Fantastic. Oh, that was everything. That's some nonsense. I'm going to say that. That is, uh... That is annoying. Because I was... Oh, hello, buddy. I was looking around for more stuff. Shit. Okay, well, here's our nap room. 
And uh, I think we should be able to get a new key card in here. High voltage condenser for the spark shot. Custom part of the spark shot makes it possible to lo excuse me, to store a large amount of high voltage electricity, reducing the time between shots. That sounds kind of cool. I would rather it charged up faster rather than reducing the time, but uh, I'll take it. And uh, we also get. Oh, I see. We need the uh, we need the the part for this, which we don't currently have, but we can get the electronic chip. Perfect. Combine that, and now we have a general staff wristband. Okay, now this guy's probably still alive. He is very much still alive. We might be able to just go past him though. At least for now. I'm sure we'll have to come back later because we haven't done the other stuff in that room. Yeah, the big chip. The hot chip, as they say. Expecting that door to be automated. It's weird that some of the doors are manual doors. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. Ah, see, we're, we're Dr. Lee now, right? Because we had the... Um, uh, we were the last person. Wayne Lee, that's us. We're now Wayne Lee. Because uh, we've got his chip. Can you store... Oh, you can. Okay. I kind of want to store, like, four of these so that we've got some rounds. But if we pick up any more, we'll actually be able to, um... <laughs> that. <laughs> Combine. There we go. So that if we pick up any more rounds, we'll have, um... Stuff ready to go. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the space we have. Perfect. Uh, I would be tempted to make some more. Oh, in fact, in fact, we don't actually have any more stuff. So maybe we should just... I mean, we have 21 rounds. It's not too bad. Um, I know we can make acid rounds now. Wayne isn't even here to see his name, buddy. Yeah. Wayne's... Uh, I saw he's playing some more retro nonsense. He's fallen back in the hole again. But uh, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll we'll press on, nevertheless. I'm starting to get to the point where maybe we don't even want to carry this gun around because we haven't have much ammo for it, and we don't seem to pick up ammo for it. We've made some, but we don't seem to very often like have it around. Okay. Well, immediately I see the uh, the signal modulator. And this chap has got a special forces recording. Alpha to ghost. Target moving to the west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-virus and antiviral agent. This is ghost. Understood. Rendezvous at point W3. Roger. This is Alpha. Arrived at destination. Understood. Stand by for target. This is Alpha. I've got eyes on the target. He's going to open the safe. Roger. Awaiting the signal. Got eyes on the G-Virus. We're going in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. Well, so we, the we saw how that went. West area. Antiviral agent in the west area. That's over here. Hopefully we can go there straight away, but I wouldn't bank on it. Let's go back to the nap room. I mean, we've got the modulator. We may as well get it done now while we have the opportunity. I've ate, I've eaten a lot of pasta today, so I am uh, very full of pastery energy for this one. Now this chap probably still going to be alive because he was alive when we left him. Um, sir, sir, I feel like he should be in here somewhere. Am I missing something? Did he make it into the other room? That's very sinister. He just disappeared. He's not on the roof. I don't know where he's gone. Did he go in the nap room? He didn't go in the nap room. Where did he go? It's a mystery. Okay. Now we're looking for OSS. 
Examine. Right, and uh, we can... Uh, umbrella electric power. We can uh, use these things to make that the OSS thing. And we want to match up this signal. Okay. First things first, we want to get something that looks like this. And then we want to shift it over. There we go. It's a little weird to use at first. Uh, you kind of just have to t twiddle around with it. It's not quite as intuitive as it seems. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought might happen. Sorry about that, Dr. Wayne. Wayne Lee's note. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead, all dead. It was those men in black, USS, Headquarters Special Forces. But, but why? Isn't it their job to protect us? White brains in a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Didn't everybody say I was a genius? A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I always got results. They're screwing me. Well, or maybe I'll screw them. I'll win the noble. I'm a hero, a genius, a god. I will not die. I will... I guess, I mean, I guess he didn't die in a way. Oh, and we get a hit pouch. Perfect. Look at that. There's the space. Now we have our space. Usually one of the zombies in the other rooms comes in, but you de-leg them all. Interesting. I mean, that's why you, you've got to do the de-legging, right? But what happened to this guy? That's what I want to know. Like, he's just vanished. There was a guy there. And he's completely disappeared. It's absolutely baffling. Anyway, not to worry too much. Oh, he's going to screw him, all right. Um, right, we do want to keep the OSS modulator. Um... Do I really want to hold onto a grenade? I feel like I can just drop a grenade for now. Um, I don't want to accidentally use the grenade, to be honest. Because it's not really useful to us. Uh, we'll save it for the, the later fight. I don't want to accidentally pop it on a zombie. Again, I'd rather... I, actually, what, what I should have is I should grab a healing item, because we don't currently have any. Um, that would be smart. Uh, we'll take a green herb... We'll take a red herb. We don't really need a blue. We can save those for, for boss fights. Although, actually, we have so many blue herbs that it probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, they, they give you damage resistance. And I feel like we have so many of them. That why not? Why not throw in an onion? Okay, perfect. Actually, given that we have so much, let's, let's make some acid rounds in case we encounter liquors. Um... So I believe we combine this and this. And then we get six acid rounds, which is pretty good. And then we can hold on to those. And then we've got them if we need them. Hello, Frosty. Welcome in. Good to see you. And now we've got a, a good selection of tools for anything that we might run up against. Now, granted, we might run into some real trouble, but for now, we should be okay. I like how this is like, um, it clearly needs the, the wristband, but you just push a big button and not even with the wristband hand. Like you think you'd scan the wristband on it or something, but no, you just, just bump it. Hello, hello. Okay, we need level four for this. What's level four? Administrator. Well, we're definitely not that. But maybe at some point. Right, that's a level 2, clearly. That looks like it might be a higher level. I can't see from here. But it looks like it may require a higher level access. Ah, I see. We can see it here. Yes, we need to be senior staff for that. And that's, I think, the wing we want to get to. That is the west wing, as they say. But for now, we'll head over to the east area. Do a little jog. Just check we've not missed anything obvious. Looks good to me. Okay. 
Look at that. The sneaky little hamster. Terrifying. Okay. Beautiful. Right, now what's going on in the east wing, I guess? Okay. There's some uh, coolant escaping from a pipe. Are these butterflies? Looks like there's some kind of uh, moth or butterfly creature. There is something in the lobby, but I don't know where it is. Is it behind here? Oh, I see. Maybe it's considered part. Maybe this room is also considered part of it. Oh, this is also a safe room. Okay. And the time is uh, GT6 D8 Oh wait, no, this isn't a safe room. It just kind of looks like a safe room. I don't think it actually is. Oh no, it is. There's a typewriter right there. I knew I was uh, knew I was on to something. Okay, we got a roll of... Oh no, there's a gun... I keep confusing the roll of film and the gunpowder. That was everything. Okay, perfect. Store. And we'll store the herb. We don't need the herb. Yeah, they love safe rooms. They really do. I mean, there was one about 20 meters away, which, you know, I'm not going to complain. But uh, it does seem a bit excessive, doesn't it? Now, in, uh, in Leon's campaign, this door over here was locked. We had to come from the other side, I think. Yeah, huh? Then we've got this door, and we've got the door... No, this is the only other door. That's not a door. That's just a cabinet. Presentation room. Well, this guy's certainly presenting. What is he presenting? He's presenting a key card, right? And it looks like a level 4 key card, but maybe it's a level 3. Because uh, it would be a bit weird if they gave us a level 4 straight away. Uh, it's uh, Yes, it's a level 3. It's got three slashes on it. Okay, perfect. That's terrible. It's not great, is it, Claire? But, uh, you know, I'm sure we've seen worse. Honestly, like, of all the things that have happened to people in this game, getting pinned against a bit of glass by a big tree, you know, not the worst thing we've seen. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. Okay, well, we can't access the computer, unfortunately. Not quite sure what the computer does, but I'm sure we will find out in good time. Okay. It's time for everyone's favourite part of the game, the Nightmare Firemen. Hello. Oh, I hear the music kicking up. I mean, that was pretty good. That works pretty well. Uh, yeah, I'll take a tip, sure. Why not? Okay. So here we've got our map. We've got the greenhouse control room, the drug testing lab. Can we use, Can we just use this and get the map of the area? Or have we already got the map of the area? I feel like we should have the map by default here because it's on the wall. <laughs> like, Claire, you can just look at it right here and it says where everything is. Um... But we're going to go... We're in the greenhouse control room right here. We're going to go out this door. There's the drug testing lab, which I believe is locked initially. And then there's this hatch here, which is also locked. Oh, maybe the drug testing lab isn't locked. Maybe we can go in there, but we can't uh, use the, the testing until we've uh, gotten ourselves a code. Okay. And this is the, the dispensary. Dispensing solution now. Look at that. Just watering the trees. You would shoot the pods off the plant lads before grenading them. Okay, that is a good tip. You think the SMG is a decent thing to use for that? Or should I be using the uh, the big the big gun? Okay. Uh, anything else in here? Doesn't look like it.
ominous. Right, first port of call, I guess we're going to go round to the left and see what's going on down there. Okay, so in the drug testing lab, there is herbicide synthesis. SMG makes it easier, but the pistol works fine too. Okay, good to know. Plant 43 herbicide synthesis. Empty cartridges in the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of a UMB number 21, P minus epsilon, and cool immediately. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If something more unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the unfent, in the unvent, in the event of an unforeseen incident, manufacture the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize damage. There's a big humpy boy in the back. Look at that. Okay, now there is still stuff in the drug testing lab, but I presume it's... I feel like... I know this is, like, locked off, but I feel like you could just put the thing... Like, you could reach through those bars and use the machine. But maybe the machine is disabled. Maybe that's the logic they're going with. Okay, we've got some high-grade gunpowder. Always a welcome sight. And, uh, anything else? Seems like there should be something else. Um, maybe the room can't be complete until you've used the... Oh, here we go. A cheeky grenade. A hand of Granada. Okay. As far as we know, that's everything we can pick up in here. Claire has big wrists. You miss Kyle's sass. Yeah, it's not the same without uh, without him banging on about something. And we got too much stuff. Already we've got too much stuff. I need to go drop some of this stuff off. Um, which is easier said than done, to be honest. Uh, I guess we could combine these and we can make some more acid rounds, if needs be. Um, you do miss Kyle. Of course you miss it. We all miss Kyle. Any other nodules on here? Oh, I hear someone behind me. Shit. Hell is up with you. Okay, we need to be uh, cautious about this. Now, I think this says on it. Okay, what are we looking for here? This is... Um, Six eight three one. Is that a six? That first number. That looks kind of like a six to me. I think it's six eight three one. I kind of want to explore over here. I know that's a little bit risky because maybe there's more zombies over here. What did I say? Easy does it. Stop wriggling, buddy. Okay, we didn't actually get him there, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Leave Claire's wrists alone. They're perfectly lovely. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this room is pretty clear. Okay. Um... That isn't a six, is it? It was a five. This is the five. This is the six. I think it was this number, which I think is supposed to be the five. It doesn't really look like a five, but... Five, eight, three, one. Okay, and then we can put in another code. But we've unlocked that hatch. Oh, I see. They're getting the. They get the things back. Ah, right. 
We should go deal with this other guy then before they all grow back. Oh, come on. That guy, those guys move faster than I anticipated, to be honest. Hey, maybe we can get these guys together, though. I'm not sure if we got the back guy. I don't think we did. Okay, they seem to be toasted. No, that's okay. I think, you know, your, your instructions were fine. I just uh, didn't quite grasp what you wanted me to do there. I didn't realize they would regenerate the spores, I guess. But that's fine, it's a learning experience. You know, I would have worked out if I'd been playing on my own. So, not a problem at all. Okay, here's our map. I don't know why we had to get it from here instead of earlier on. You, sh you need to stop watching sad dog videos. I would never recommend watching sad dog videos, to be honest, but you know, you do you. Um, okay. You can't craft flame rounds, I guess, right? They're just kind of uh, there by default. Uh, we can pick both of these up. We are getting to the point where we're going to have to... Um, but I think this room uh, ends up backing around to where we want to go, although... Hmm, maybe we should go back while we have an easy opportunity to do so and clear out our inventory a little bit. Because I am cognizant of the fact that we uh, we don't have a ton of resources. Oh, we don't have a ton of space. <laughs> you would definitely watch a skateboarding dog, yeah. That sounds like a much better video to watch, to be honest. Flame rounds are just pickups, yeah. Yeah, those guys are all dead. But I think there are more things in that area. And this guy is still around. Jesus. Stand up, buddy. The vine guys are creepy, yeah. At least they have... Okay, so they're ones with a happy ending, like a redemptive arc one. Yeah, they're okay. I don't know. Are you going to come to life now that we come back through here? Not currently, which is good. Okay. Let's get our stuff sorted out, and then we can progress. Just a little bit too much stuff we're carrying around at the moment. Got this red herb, random red herb. We will need the dispersal cartridges. I don't really want to drop that off. If you grenade them at the start, you have to grenade them twice. If you sh shoot the pods first, they die in one. Yeah, okay. Thank you. It makes sense. Combat knife. And I'd also kind of like to bring... Just a couple more flame rounds. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. Her versus herb, yeah. It's uh, one of those weird um, American versus British English where we say herb. Like Americans always say herb, which, I don't know, it's an interesting one. Because I feel like that's that's kind of unique to herb, right? Like you don't say um, you don't cut the H on other on most other words like 
hospital. Or like heroin. But you do cut it on, on herb. And that's pretty consistent, I feel like. You say it wrong. Yeah, well, at least you know, I guess. <laughs> It is interesting to me, though, because I, you know, obviously, like, a lot of people in England would say herb, but they'd say herb because they're just lazy. And it is interesting to me that, like, that's, that's actually just how it's said in America. Like, because when I first heard people say herb, I was like, well, okay, that's just how that person talks. But no, that is actually just how it is said by basically everyone in America. Um, all right, we definitely want to use this knife. Because it's got a little chunk, which is actually kind of good. Should defend us pretty well. Um, Alright. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, there are liquors down here. But yeah, it's always been a fascinating one to, to me, that. like, it's Specifically the fact that it is the common way it's said and not just like a... Because it sounds like a, a slang thing. But it is just the sort of standard accepted pronunciation. I'm actually going to switch to acid rounds because I think if we do run into anything here, it will be liquors. Oh, I didn't bring any more SMG ammo. That was a mistake. Big mistake. Hello, Wayne. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Where you're from, M and M sound the sa M and N sound the same, and you just drop letters. Hey, fair enough. Okay, a lot of people in here. Wish I had more SMG ammo. We do have more flame rounds, though. Oh man, see, I was gonna bring, uh, I was gonna put one more away, but I thought, nah, we'll be fine. We were not fine. A lot of slashing going on. Uh, I'm going to leave the green herb here for now. We can pick it up in a bit. Is there anything else in here? Alright, earth. We need to get earth. Okay. Do you say aunt like aunt or ant? I mean, I say aunt. But I'm from the south. Whereas I suspect... Some of the northerners would be more like to say ant. Uh, earth is what we want. Oh, we're so close to it. Look at that. Just a little nudge. Yeah, it's a mix there, yeah. That, I feel like that's something that's more regional. Power is on. Okay, what have we got ahead of us? The low temp testing lab. I believe this is the way back up. Um, now, I don't know how much stuff we're going to encounter compared to how much stuff we encountered with um, Leon. Presumably, it will be somewhat comparable. But uh, we shall see. Oh, this is a safe room. Oh, fantastic. Did they really are? You were, you were not kidding. There's so many safe rooms. Wow. That's actually quite nice. Um, we'll store this. Uh, we'll store this. We'll store a few of these. And uh, I would kind of like to make some more... Or to get some SMG ammo. Okay, we do have some SMG ammo. Don't really want to carry too much stuff. I don't. I'm wary of being overburdened. Um, you say naan like the Indian bread. <laughs> naan, yeah, naan is like grandma. Um, that's interesting. I feel like I. I don't know that I'm not used to naan being used for like younger grandmas necessarily. Um, I feel like the thing I associate with is that. A lot of people will use one for one parent's parents and one for the other. So like your maybe your dad's parents will be grandpa and grandma and then your mum's parents will be nan and uh, like 
Nan and Pops or something like that, or like um, as a way to like differentiate that. So that when you say Nan, uh, you know which which grandparent you're talking about. Yeah, Mamo and Papa. Yeah, I've uh, definitely encountered that. Uh, anything else in here? Nothing else in here. If I'd known there was a save room, I'd have picked other stuff up. There definitely were liquors in here on a previous time, but I don't think they were in at the start. I think they came in after we'd been through a couple of times. Okay, that's everything in the lounge. So we don't need to worry too much now. Oh, they're all... Hello. Okay, so there's our liquor. I knew there would be a liquor. <laughs> Finally, a nice clean corridor in a survival horror game. Okay, beautiful. Um, right, there's a trophy, which we always love to have, to have a trophy. Look at this. The Guac Institute for excellence in avocados. In the shape of a DNA helix. Look at this. Genetics Umbrella Corporation. And it's got a sticker on the back. And it's uh, 2048, I believe. I mean, we can probably discard that. I don't know if it does anything else, but we'll hold on to it for now because it might be useful. Welcome wow. Back, Dr. Lee. You have five. That, was a, that was a real nice uh, clean split. Of course you get the crit when you're aiming at something that's just uh, on the ground. Here we go. Wayne, this is for you. Oh, Wayne Lee. We met Wayne Lee earlier. He's not doing the best, to be honest, but... Sender, Rick Mendoza. What's he up to? Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Call your Jets, asshole. Well, I guess he is the boss for now. Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Sender, Byron Cartwright. Busy guy, huh? So, you couldn't make our little meeting? Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next, and get it done tonight. Sender, Rick Mendoza, are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bastard Cartwright hiding? Rick Mendoza, please reply. Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. We need to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Rick Mendoza. None. Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. I still have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed. But you might have to wait a while. Sinister final message from Rick there. Okay, I think we're going into the cooling facility. Uh, which I think is actually where we need to come later, maybe. I can't remember. I can't remember quite how this pans out, because we need to get the... Uh... Ooh. Should have packed my parka. I mean, you did have a coat, Claire, but you gave it to a small child, which, you know, fair enough. No, no, no complaints about that but I believe we need to come here and chill the solution once it's ready um, let's and let's actually check we've got the we've got the notes here uh, herbicide synthesis okay so we need to do the solution and then we call the solution so we're gonna have to come here after we've uh, after we've dealt with the um, anything else in here there is a chap on the floor. Always a little bit sinister. Doesn't seem like there's too much else going on. He's chilling. I mean, everyone's chilling in here, I suppose. But, uh... 
let's just make our way out. We can come back here in a minute anyway, so. Uh, we'll know once we've done the machine if there's anything else missing. <laughs> this sounds like an old time American accent. A private eye or a paper boy with a flat cap. It's the two styles of old American. Okay. Onwards we go. That lady is uh, just, you know, just head banging. But without a head, so I guess she's just banging. But, you know, fair play to her. Right. What else have we got going on here? Nothing on these desks. Nothing on these desks. Very quiet, really. What's through the window? Oh, that's the cooling facility. Of course. Of course. Right, now, there was a liquor outside here, which I'm not too keen on. Hopefully... Yeah, it's gone over there somewhere. Perfect. Music's kicked up a little. Anything down there? Doesn't look like it. Now we need to be careful that no one drops on us, because sometimes on stairs zombies will just fall from above. And uh, there can be a right pain. Like this chap up here. Ah, hello. Oh well, this guy's coming quick. He does have another pod, like here. There it is, okay. Back up, Claire. Oh, I had an acid round on. It's not what I wanted. It's a double whammy. Oh, hello, everyone. How is it doing? How is it doing? Hang on, let me pause for a sec. Pascal Raiding. Good to see you. Reva, Averia. And Pascal, lovely to see you all. How are you doing today? You come bearing lyrics from Pascal, creating beautiful music. Thank you very much, Pascal. That's very kind. We are important and irreplaceable. Beautiful. Someone used to tell the zombies that. Yeah, they are, they're not happy with me. I'll say that. Is this guy still alive? Buddy. And with that, his final words. Now, there was a chap up above us here. There he is. Okay, well, he's he's legless now. Not legoless. Legless. Zombies need love too. Yeah, they do love munching. I'll say that. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Let's just do this again. I mean, it worked well last time. We got ourselves trapped between two people, but... Uh, I know there are scientists in here. And by scientists, I mean zombies. Some high-grade gunpowder. Lovely. Tempted to, uh, to make ourselves some SMG ammo. Somebody's note. Everybody's turned. Vegified. They keep coming back again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body is black as ash. There's no other way. Well, I mean, I suppose that's kind of what we've been doing. So, so far so good. Ah, some ammo. Always love some high cal high caliber ammo, high quality ammo. Big old tub of mayo, or maybe some PVA glue. Don't get those mixed up. Madam. Oh gosh, you can come through that door. I did not anticipate that one. Oh wow, this guy's going for it. Madam. Okay, I think we should actually be able to get past her now. The only issue is that they might still cause a problem when we come back through here again. 
Right, we'll take him down. She may not be dead. But hopefully that will solve any future problems when we have to come back through here. Because we're probably going to want to come back that way after we call the uh, things. Although, it depends, right? Because we did kill a lot of stuff in the other area. So, it's going to be a little touch and go. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We'll store this. Uh, I might actually make SMG ammo. I was saying that, wasn't I? Let's do, the ma let's do some, some SMG ammo. Um, we'll store this. Combine. Then combine. And we'll store this. And uh, we'll use this and then we'll, we'll... I think the room is just here. So we'll, we'll use this code first. Because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um... Uh, what do we have here? Looks like 2048, I want to say. Oh, it's not this room. Oh, it's further around. It is further around. Okay. Well, I'll remember 2048. That's fine. 2048. A magical year. <laughs> Zombies just want hugs. You can do a lot of scientific things with mayo. Um, I can't think of too many of them at the moment, but I'm sure there are things. Zombies just want hugs. I suppose that's one way to look at it, yeah. Uh, I don't know that I want the hugs from them, but listen. It's a, it's a... It is an unrequited hug that the zombies want to give you. Oh, now this boy is awake. When you actually get these guys, it's very satisfying. I love that they I love that they reignite. That's very good. I like my uh my like my seaweed extra crispy. Neck nibbles and hugs. Yeah, you can't exactly. You can't explain the two meter rule to them, and none of them are wearing protection either. So it's uh, it's a nightmare, really. If you know, are they always the same? Can you just put them in here? I presume you can. I I feel like I'm watching Martin. I probably would have seen him do that at some point. This is a weird area. You just kind of loop around it a lot of times. Also, the music's always very ominous. Specifically when you come in here, even if there's no active zombies at the time. Okay. Ah, here we go. Right. I love one of these puzzles. So. Dispersal cartridge goes in. Manual mode engaged. Adjust and of solution to match how many notches do we want? What are we What are we working with here? There's like, there's two in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like eleven notches. Um, and we currently have one, two, three, four, five, and two, and two. That can't be right. I bet the notches may not be accurate. They may not be the correct way to do it. Um, this fills this up. If we rotate these, that swaps those around, and this swaps these around. Interesting. Oh, I see. So you, you put it into the one in the left, I see. fill that. Can I fill this all the way up? Do I want to fill this all the way up? And then switch these. And then put this in here. This is probably not the, the cleanest way to do this. But we'll get there, don't worry. No, that's not going to work if I do that. This puzzle took you about 10 minutes first time. Uh, this won't do anything because it's already full. 
Um, okay. Oops. I'm going to put this in here. And then put this in here. That leaves us with one portion. And then I put this into here. And then we should just need one more portion. So if I put this in here, that should work, I think. There we go. Why, why does this machine exist? It's not mixing fluids. It's just like, well, we have slightly too much fluid and you just need to extract a tiny bit of it. What was my question earlier? Goodness only knows. I don't remember. Oh, I know. My question was, if you know the codes for the machine, can you just do them as soon as you come in? Because I can't remember from watching you whether that's... Can you just put codes in when you first come into that room? I feel like that's one of those puzzles where... As I was saying, I feel like that's one of those puzzles where... Um, like, once you've done it, uh, it, like if you if you get stuck on it, it goes for ages. Oh, you can! Brilliant. Uh, okay, there's a blue herb over there. We're gonna have to go around later anyway. You had them all written down, so you just didn't at the start. Yeah, that's what I th I thought you had, but I couldn't remember. I thought I might have just been misremembering that. It would actually maybe be easier to go the other way here, because we wouldn't have to go through the liquor corridor. It feels like this is the way they want us to go. But I remember this place being a nightmare. Oh, liquor's over there. Only issue is I think there may be another liquor. There is, in fact, another liquor. Right, which way are we going? We're going in here. This dude's just chilling. Don't worry about him. Yeah, the suspense on that revelation, exactly. Whew. Right, we only have to go back through there once more, I think. So, hopefully... Should... Last time I did that corridor... Yeah, his wall gate... Last time I did that corridor, it was one of the most... It was... I used all my resources. I nearly died about three times. I don't know how I didn't die. Somehow I made it through. And listen, it might happen again because we have to go back through there. Right, let's call our solution. Zoop. This is a fun little machine that seems a little bit over-engineered, but... It's like, oh, I'll put it in this slot. Like, I don't know if it's meant to do stuff en masse, and that's why it has so many things. But it feels like at the speed that it takes, that it could just have one slot. And maybe you don't even need this machine. <laughs> you just have the one slot. And you put it in, and then it cools it, and then it brings it back out. The liquors are harder on A, interesting. Are they in more awkward positions? It's full of herbicide. Cool, Perfect. Complete. Let's have a little look at it. Whoa, look at that. It is frozen... I don't, know how you, I don't know how you disperse it when it's that cold, but apparently it works. Okay, and that was everything for the low temp testing lab. Perfect. Well, here goes nothing. Hope everyone's had a pleasant Sunday. Hope everyone's uh, able to relax and chill out. I hope you've enjo been enjoying the music, because it sounds like it was a good time. Got it. It's been a while since I've caught one of uh, one of Pascal's music streams. I think that was the first thing I saw when I, ca I, I came in once when uh, when she was doing a uh, like a little mini concert, and it was really fun. But uh, 
haven't caught one for a little while, so I'll have to make sure I do that at some point. It's nice and chill. Yeah, that's good. I love a bit of music. You know, you can't beat a good bit of music. You can duck into this room on B. On A, you have to run past them and they will attack you on first encounter. Okay. That is nice. Uh, this chap's still alive? No, probably not, because he hasn't moved. I bet these people upstairs are, but that's not a problem. He says boldly, having not done it yet. Oh, she's doing a performance soon for 300 followers. Fantastic. Well, I'll definitely try and, uh, I'll definitely try and pop along for some of that if I can. Which I'm sure I'll be able to. Okay. They've moved, or one of them's moved. So she's probably alive. Oh, he is also alive, but he's not actually looking. And she's not really looking. We might just be able to get past her. She's got a head in the wall, which is honestly, like, not a very good strategy if you're looking out for people. There's a nice accompaniment to you completely changing a big chunk of your animal crossing island. What, what, what's your big renovation project, Reva? Tell me about your animal crossing. I know uh, Martin Kenneth II is a, is a big animal crossing player, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure he'll be interested to hear what you're up to. Uh, more gunpowder, more gunpowder large, um, so we could make more acid rounds if we need to. Um, let's take out three flame rounds, we might want them. Uh, anything else I want to bring? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some more ammo, just to... Load this gun back up, just in case I want to use it for anything. Uh, and then we'll make a save. And I think we're good to... Haven't played since Turkey Day. Part of your residential section. You've made it a little bigger to make it feel more full. That's good. Like, I haven't really... Uh, I didn't get it. I didn't pick up the, the new Animal Crossing. Like, I've always... I was interested in it, but it's always been, like, a series I'm a little up and down on. Um, but, uh... It's definitely very cool. And I, I like seeing people's islands. Uh... Someone I follow on Twitter uh, did a few videos where he did some some like ASMR -E tours of his island, and they were very very satisfying. Just watching him walk around and show off what he'd done. So it's very pleasant just to see what it's like Stardew Valley. Like I didn't actually play a ton of Stardew Valley, but I really like seeing people's farms and seeing how they've uh, built their stuff. Okay, I think the dispersal thing is here. It is indeed. A lot of moving houses and you can only do one house per day. That is a pain. Okay, beautiful. It actually makes the trees look more alive. Right, now, I remember in Leon A... Guess it's, uh... You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been logged. And oh right, because it thinks we're Wayne, and Wayne's not necessarily supposed measures. to do that. Oh no, not disciplinary measures. Call it, call it 4:21, because weed time is over, baby. Okay, uh, we'll pick up this blue herb now. Last on Leon's, when we picked this up, Mr. X showed up. I don't know if Mr. X will show up this time. I want to deal with this guy though, because inevitably, if I don't, what the hell is up with you? Some, someone will get in the way. I want to make sure there are fewer things. You own all the main games you couldn't possibly not. That's fair. I know it's a, I know it's a big series for for a lot of people. A real favourite. Uh, did I pick up that blue herb? I don't think I did. Somehow it didn't get torched in that fire. I did. I did see Pascal's uh, Exxon give it to your mod, which is very, very good. Big fan of that. Now, I'm half expecting shot, but he did get torn in half, so who knows? Electronic chip. Senior staff. And that's everything.
Okay. Well, that's more promising than I expected. I'm just going to ignore that guy. I don't really think... Oh god, there's guys in here as well now. Bastard. He's got one on this arm as well. Uh, we shouldn't need to come back through here anyway, right? So I don't really need to worry about it. I know he will technically regenerate. But I'm kind of banking on the fact that we shouldn't need to go back through there. Okay, let's check uh, let's check this machine while we're here. Byron Cartwright's inbox. Here we go. Here's Byron Cartwright. Let's just check this. The main section is all your stores, house of fruit and money trees, then you have residential, central park, a Japanese garden, and a wild hill bit, and the camp is on a hill with an observation deck. That sounds lovely. Oh, you won't be able to separate the, the character. Yeah, I've also seen that, Martin, the the Thomas the Tank Engine, the one where uh, it changes Mr. X into Thomas the Tank Engine, and then it just plays the do 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 That's very good. That's also very, very good. Um... I've seen like the Mr. X in Speedos, also excellent, big fan of that. Sender, William Birkin, high priority increased security. When did Nest become a nest for spies? Three last month and another four this month. And those are just the ones we caught. Step up security card, right? Or do you want to end up like your predecessor? Also, I'll be restricted to the West area from today. Ignore a request from headquarters for information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. Sender, no reply, auto-generated mail. Warning, unauthorized access detected. Herbicide disposal by unauthorized employee detected in the east area. Wayne Lee. So it's 4.51, so we know it is about 4.51. You had fun a ASMRing 50 shades to friends in uh, Dead by Daylight. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm a big fan of that. That is a like reading like very inappropriate texts in uh, in a, like a, a gentle soothing voice is very satisfying. I used to always uh, not quite the same thing, but I always used to after Dead Space came out, I played through Dead Space with a friend, and you know they do like the very whispered versions of songs. So I would always uh, I would always do that when my friend was around. I would always start whispering um, like famous songs. Uh, in a, like a very, uh, a very soft voice, a soft, sinister voice. <laughs> ASMR smut, fantastic. Yeah, it's a market we can all get behind. Okay. Um, let's do a save. Why not do a save? Uh, is this the last slot? This is the last slot. Okay, so we have like a page of saves, right? Actually, slightly less than a page of saves. <laughs> now, you're encouraging them. Yeah, you're encouraging them by reading them uh, sexy fan fiction literature in a, in a gentle voice. <laughs> you know, just to inspire them to escape from the monster. Oh, we got 69 bullets. Nice. Uh, I do kind of want some more. If we can get our hands on a few more. Mm, although, at the same time, I'm slightly concerned about like the amount of... Uh... Well, the acid rounds aren't that good, right? So, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn. I think we should be okay for now. Um, it's one of those situations where if we do a boss fight and we find we want more SMG ammo, we can make more SMG ammo. Um, we've got everything here, so we can go back to the main shaft and shaft our way over to um, the west area, which is where we actually want to be. We just had to go through that whole bit of shenanigans to get our hands on the, uh, the key card. And now that we have it... Bloop. Beautiful. 
A broad ASMR Scottish voice is the best to best way to encourage you to die on a hook. Oh, right, yeah, Sherry. I forgot about Sherry. We're coming, Sherry. Don't worry. I feel like we should go in and check on her, but that will only slow us down. Cool, it's dark in here, isn't it? This man uh, got his gas mask on, didn't help him. Lab digital video cassette. Are we going to go back past the cassette place? It's the other Operation Nest Wrecker, or is there maybe there's another tape? Oh, there might be a tape player in here somewhere. Oh, is this a, this is sort of a safe room, a pseudo safe room. What do we got here? AWS. Okay, perfect. AWS. There we go. Beautiful. The lovely tones of AWS. Acid rounds are good against G3. Good to remember. Shaft is the way. Exactly. Shaft is the way we want to go. Right. Let's see what uh, let's see what Operation Nest Wrecker One is. I suspect it's one we already saw. I think they're probably the same. Ah, yes. Here's William fiddling with his samples. I think I didn't know you were coming. This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! It's a bit late for that. What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. Good job. We're in, sir. But we had a snafu. Target resisted. We had to take him out. <laughs> Everyone's just judging him. That's correct, sir. <laughs> like that face when... Uh, Roger that. Just the samples, then. You make a sassy comment and everyone's just judging you for it. <laughs> Let's move. What have you done? Martinez, you fool. Sorry, William. All right, let's deposit this uh, tape. Don't need that anymore. William Birkin's inbox. Jane Doyle, suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Who's B.E.? Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. If someone ever sends you a message and they put company in uh, quotes, um, be suspicious. Richard Kessler. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange you never thought to report to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, <laughs> but I, I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry. You've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. He just wanted to show something to his codmate. Jane Doyle, notes of admonishment. You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in authorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Well, Birkin is up to no good. That's what we've established. Okay. There's uh, some more stuff, apparently, in the biotesting lab. Oh, this is where we want Sherry, right? We can give her the old zip-zap-zoop. Seems like where we'd want to take her. Okay. A blue herb. Beautiful. There is more stuff here. Was there a grenade? There's a grenade. 
Granada. Lovely. I feel like we're doing okay ammo-wise at this point. Not doing too badly. And that is everything. Uh, did I save? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Was there even an option to save? No. Okay. Well, not to worry. Time to go to the Bioreactor's room. Top voices. Yeah, I don't know about some of them. Some of them are a little bit questionable. I, uh, I didn't really settle on a direction for them. God, racks of uh, racks of coats uh, or racks of things in Resident Evil have always bothered me ever since uh, the uh, the regenerators. Because I think there's one like in one of the racks in Resident Evil 4. <sighs> Slow motion. Ah, and a cooling uh, a cooling burst of air. Lovely. Well, this room seems rather sinister. Ken takes his dates to all the most romantic spots, like the lab. Exactly. Alright, well, uh, let's see what happens when we go across this bridge. This is the kind of bridge where you expect something to happen, and then you go across and nothing does. Oh, yes, the eyeball room. Of course. This looks like, um... This looks like when you go into, um like Quasar or Laser Quest and they have like the entrance room where everyone gets dressed up and it's just like neon all over the walls and you're like oh yeah I'm ready to shoot my friends in a virtual combat zone okay a little little eyeball bonanza going on here a big arm nice juicy arm we got a uh, some d nondescript flesh I guess not quite sure what's going on here uh, I think this is going to be our sample. We'll check this computer. See what's going on here. Research diary. Embryo growth observations. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid to GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding rate observation, subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with the embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. T virus resistance experimentation, subject 628639. We administered the G virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. <laughs> Disappointed they weren't growing a juicy ass. <laughs> Frosty says no to the eyeball bonanza. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like indescribable flesh. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. The ass swing is down the path. All oh, right. Yeah, okay. That's where Annette was working. She was working in the booty wing. Okay, what do we got in here? We got some high-grade gunpowder. White. Uh, let's combine these. Nope. One of these days I'll get the right button. There we are. A red herb. Beautiful. And, um... Some more gunpowder. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, this is a point where we want to kind of start stocking up on stuff. This is a point where we're like, okay, it's on. It is on. <laughs> What's your area of specialty? Ass. Billy doesn't work here, but he just loves hanging out in the booty wing. I mean, who can blame him? Um, let's combine these. Because we've got loads of stuff now. Oh, you can make five or six, can't you? We only got five, which is disappointing. 
Okay, we don't need this anymore. Uh, we don't really need this, but we will get... Um... Oh, I've got one of these as well. Okay. Get my spark shot out. And I'm going to get my uh, grenades out. Where's my knife? Where's my other knife? I, I kind of want to swap out the knife for a, a more whole knife. That feels good. The wing is the wing is so full. Uh, the sun may might say it's full from cheek to cheek. The the perfect BOW, the booty of war. The booty oriented weapon. I love it. Okay. Uh, that should be okay. I think they were probably overloaded, if anything, but, um... We'll see how we go. Right. Save. Done. Let's, uh... The only other thing I need to do is I need to combine... I'll put this on the, uh, the shortcut there so we have it available to us. And I think... We're good to go. Oh, we need something for this, do we? What do we need for this? Oh, do we need the medallion? We need the medallion. Look at it. It's so obvious. Come on, Claire, you can do this. Hell yeah. Medallion's probably not the right word. Map and weapons of mass destruction. Oh, thank God. The antiviral agent. Got to get back to Sherry. I'm coming, Sherry. Right, back through this innocuous hallway. Buddy, now is not the time. Your ass again. William! This ends now. Great job. Well done, Annette. You've done it. Maybe don't get too close to him. Sometimes they get back up. What the hell is this thing? My husband. Was my husband. <laughs> she is my creation. <gasps> oh. Oh. William. So the theory is she uses it on him because she finds him dead and thinks that it might bring him back to life. I guess he still had a crush on you. I got this. Oh, more arms. Sorry. Oh, 
Oh, he sticks himself, but she doesn't kill him. Right, gotcha. No. <laughs> the booty wing was my life's work. You should take care of Sherry. You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. Whatever you do, don't stop until it's finished. Trust me. This ends now. All right, so I've just realized, uh, I've got the wrong stuff on here. All oh, right, yep, of course, maximum discharge. I should have brought more healing items, to be honest, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. What are we working with here? Some needle cartridges? Beautiful. Love a needle cartridge. Oh, I'm disappointed that hit me. We did have to do this a couple of times last time, but it wasn't too bad, all things considered. And we got loads of healing. Easy does it, Claire. Let's see, what else are we working with here? There's some stuff over here. We got a flash grenade. Might come in handy, you never know. Zap, 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 boosh! Dodge it, Claire. Beautiful. Love to see it. Good tech. Bit of ammo. He's right behind me. Oh, through his legs. Bad play, Claire. Actually, I should use the, the big gun, right? Out of the way. Boosh. Oh, some more stuff here. Oh, they just ran the other side. Okay. Easy does it. What? Why, why is she just firing him? <laughs> That was weird. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Maybe it's shorter range than I anticipated. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of wasted rounds as well. I don't love that. Ow. Okay, we're down to our... Uh, down to our final heal. I think there was some more stuff in here. This gun is uh, slow to reload, let's say. Ah, oh, bad, bad dodge there. Got to get more away than that. What was the item over here? I do want to know. There's a hand grenade. That's uh, not the most useful thing in the world, to be honest. There is another item there. Oh god, I think we're dead. Oh no, we're not, we're not. Stay on it, Claire. Um, right, grenade, grenade. Okay, <laughs> bad throw of a grenade. Okay, now we're dead. All right. Ken, you've lost control. It was working well before. He is dead before he sticks himself. Yeah, that's what I think. I thought maybe she'd stuck herself because she found him dead. And she's like, oh, okay, well, I will I guess I'll use this to get him, to keep him, bring him back to life. And then she's like, oh, no. I used to be a scientist like you until I got an eyeball in the knee. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. Brilliant. Fantastic job. All right.
we know what we're doing now. Uh, I will probably... I'm going to drop this. Because um, I'm not using it anyway. And I'll maybe take one more healing item. Because we've got a lot of them. That feels good. Would I like your hot tip? Yeah, it's alright at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll give him another shot. See how it goes. What? Oh, thank God. The antiviral agent. I, th I feel like we'll, uh, we'll get him in good time. I need to not use my uh, spark shots the way I was using them before. But, uh... Okay, beautiful. Now I want to try and spark shot him in the eye if I can. Class A, oh, wrong, uh... Oh, come on! I, that, I should have learned from last time that you can't do that. It doesn't stagger him. But I'm a little disappointed still that it doesn't stagger him. Despite knowing that it didn't stagger him. Oh, I know we're going to have to cancel that. Oh, I didn't even get away from it anyway. Bad play. Okay, he's picking up stuff there. That should give us a bit of time to uh, pick up anything that's over here. There's nothing over here. Nothing at all. What a hopeless uh, little zone. Oh, he's coming. Oh, a little duck under the arm. I like that. I presume he won't be able to hit us here. Wow, those grenades explode quickly. Quicker than I was expecting, to be honest. The range on him is, uh, is terrifying. Like, it's very difficult to get away from him sometimes. I wonder if you can bait him out like you can in, uh, like in Resi 4 when you run towards enemies and then you kind of back away from them at the last second. Okay, I think he's picking up a thing. We'll try and, try and give him a couple of eyeballs. A lot of fire going on. Awful lot of fire going on. Oh, I got I think I think I am getting too far away with that. Which is a little annoying. But you know, you've got to be ready for that. All right, ammo. You gotta have ammo. That's a real good tactical grenade. How am I doing for health? I should just check. Okay, we're all right. Less all right now. Okay, let's do a little, a uh, little healy wheelie. Ken's hot tips on OnlyFans. Yeah, my my hot tips are. I'm not going to say legendary, because that maybe is overselling them, but they exist. They are a known quantity. Oh, he's just so... D I think you've probably got to run through him instead of run over him. 
I think maybe that's also where I'm going wrong. Is I'm trying to run past him. Oh, it just goes so far around. It's just so long. Devastating. Okay, he doesn't have his eyeball in the back anymore. He just seemed a little more, uh, like, slow. Although it's not making him any uh, easier to avoid. Ah, I think we got him. Oh, that's not going to wash out quickly. Target has been neutralized. Ending quarantine. Huh. See ya, buddy. Um, right, where are we? What do we got? Anything else in here? There's some ammo in here. We're also very low on health, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll work that out as we get to it. Oh, there's loads of stuff over here. Look at this. Ammo. Oh, I had so much ammo. The only problem is this, uh, this single action army is so slow to reload. And I never, I don't think I ever, did I get a quick reloader and then just never use it? Or did we just not get a quick reloader? Or is the only quick reloader for Claire's gun, for like Claire's default weapon? This fight tests the limits of the character's movement. Yeah, it does, yeah. Oh yeah, the hot tips, yeah, the hot tips are a long running thing. If you go over to my YouTube channel, you will find some hot tips. If you're looking for hot tips, I got them. Beautiful, I think that's everything. Okay, let's make our a swift exit. We got a healing item, so we don't need to worry too much. Good thing we don't need to get back over there, because apparently we can't. Gotta get back to share. Thank you very much. We dealing with Sherry? Is she in here? No? You didn't bring her here? Okay. I think you probably should have done, but who am I to judge? Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to get that out. Equip. Okay. Let me work this out. Uh, deposit this. I'm trying to do uh, inventory management is never my uh, forte. But uh, we'll manage. Five of those. We'll take another green herb. I think I have like a blue and red mix that I pulled together by accident. Oh no, it's a green and blue, okay. Well, in that case, I'll just take one of each. Combine these. Just so that we have them. Uh, we can make another another few acid rounds because maybe we'll want them. Yeah, how is everyone doing? How's everyone uh, winding down their weekend? 
Um, right, let's make a little save as well. There's a save here somewhere. I feel like I always just can't see it. And it is in... Oh, no, there's not, there's not one in here, right? This is the room where there's not one. Okay, that's fine. Back to the main shaft again. I guess we got to go back to Sherry. She's, uh... I think she's over that way, but we'll do a little quick shimmy and shake. Okay. Perfect. How's everyone doing tonight? Shaft. Getting ready to go and cleanse. Lovely. Good to have a cleanse. Right. Let's uh let's go in in here and save just so that we have a save. Perfect. All right. Here goes nothing. Sherry. Help. You could say that again. Oh no, you mean she's hurt. A lot of internal bleeding. How are you? Okay. Shaft is always how I feel. Well. The mythical level four key card. Everything. Your life is what is We can't just leave her here. Now she'll be dead in two minutes. Yeah. Poor Sherry, she's gone through a lot in the last like twenty four hours. Even by even by the comparison of ever, what everyone else has gone through, she's yes. maybe gone through the most. Tough kid. I mean, she she didn't seem like a great mum, but you know, we don't see what happens off screen. I know Sherry kind of says like, ah, she's never around, but that doesn't mean she's not good when she is at home. But she doesn't seem like a great mum. I'll say that much. And but she did in the end do the right thing, even if we had to force her hand into it. Um, and also, <laughs> we'll get there. But Sherry seems to get over it very quickly. So uh, we'll see how this. You walk faster. Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but escape the lab. I'm going to save again, just so we don't. If we if something goes wrong, we don't have to say it, go through that cutscene. Whatever. What's a save? 
So we've used more saves than we did on... Oh, no, we haven't. This is all, the same number of saves, but I bet we'll use one more before we finish. It's a lockdown, baby. You drive me crazy. Uh, where are we going? Oh, the main shaft, of course. Once again, I know that I must go back to the shaft. Beep Let's get the hell out of here. Claire, Sherry. Claire, Sherry. Shaft. Yeah, maybe in a little shock. I think you're right. I mean, she probably should have been in shock from like the other four yeah. things that she's been through today, let alone that. Thank you for being so nice to me, for helping me. It's fine. I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Don't worry, I'm sure this bit will be easy. There doesn't seem like there can be anything else in our way at this point. There's something in the monitor room here, but I don't know what it is. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's a first aid spray. And that's not even everything. There's something else in here. Ooh, another knife. They were kind of overloaded, to be honest. Wow, stuff's just exploding. Okay. Uh, we don't really need all of this stuff. Famous last words. Um, I know we need at least two spaces. Uh, the other thing I kind of want is... Um, we haven't got our other gun out before. We should We should use this gun, right? Now, if, any, if, if there's any time to use it, now is the time to use it. Um, although, honestly, it may be too late anyway. <laughs> Sherry is the sociopath in the making. <laughs> yeah, she's been through... Yeah, she had to go through the whole Chief Irons thing. Uh, High-powered rounds. Uh, I'm going to put this on here. Nope. Put it on here. Yeah, he was very excited about the taxidermy, that guy. Not a fan of Chief Irons. Definitely, for everything else, one of the creepiest people in this game. You coming, Sherry? Sherry's just gone past these people. She's doing very well. This seems safe. Yeah, come on, Sherry. We've got places to be. We've got 10 minutes to get out of here. Of course. The stupid thing's locked. Hold on. No. Sherry, what are you... I think I can open it from the other side. Brilliant. Right, it's a good thing you were here. God damn it, your timing sucks. Not you, Sherry. I didn't mean you. 
Promise. She did it. Thanks, Sherry. Nice work, Sherry. Oh, I left something back there. Oh well. Not to worry. This place will be blown this place will be toast in no time. Oh that works. It's a good gun. Perfect. Don't say that, Claire. That's the plan, Sherry. We'll use that if we can. Oh, look at this. There's stuff. Look at that. We can... We can bonk our bits around. Uh, do I want anything else? No, I think we're pretty good. I might get some more flame rounds out. Just in case we decide that we need them. This place will be blown, exactly. Oh, there's more stuff in here somewhere. Goodness only knows what this thing does. Oh, a minigun. Of course. How could I forget? Uh, we should equip this minigun. I feel like we might need it. Okay, we need a we need a big old magnet zone. Where do we get that? Not in here, right? Oh, it is in here. Perfect. The joint plug. Oh, we don't have anywhere to put it. Okay, of course. I should have seen that one coming. All right, let's go drop off our SMG. Our SMG has been very good for us, but I don't think it's the weapon we need right now. And if we need to shoot fast, we have a gun that shoots pretty fast. So, that's my thinking. Um, I have heavy ammo on the revolver, yes. I did already use some of that, I think. Right, that was heavy ammo that I used. Yeah, Sherry does, uh, she, she, she handles stuff. By, by the time she's uh, doing her own bits, she's pretty good. We gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay, I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful, always. Can I have my jacket back? I just need, just in case there's any like, slashing things coming. You know, it's just good protection. Okay. Let's examine this thing. Look at that. Whew. It's a big old plug. Required to activate a certain piece of equipment. ka -chunk. Perfect. Claire. What? Hey, Leon. Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. No shit, Leon. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think... I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon. 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 Damn. Reva, you're off. Thank you very much for coming by. Enjoy your cleanse. Have a lovely evening. And uh, I'll catch you soon. Take care. Lovely seeing you. Thanks for hanging out.
Oh boy. Let's give this boy the beans. Oh, he's just going around. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Oh, look at that big old lunge. Oh, he's going up on the wall. By God, off the top rope. Oh, he hit me. Okay, it's fine. We're all right. I should have made some more. Uh, I've got too many of the, the ones that don't give you extra damage reduction. Oh, bad, bad dodge there. That one was on me. I didn't, I moved, I waited too long to move. That one I feel a little bit hard done by. I don't want to waste too much of the ammo. I think I got away from him. Just about. Easy does it. There we go. Careful, Claire. Okay, he's up on the top, that's fine. That works just fine. Oh, we're out of ammo. And I'm also out of health, I need to heal up. Uh, okay. Go Claire, go Claire, go Claire. Ah. It's okay, we're all right. Ah, see, she's got a quick loader for that one. Oh, he's still going. He's just, uh, just on the ground. Split, split. Ah, oh, he's popping. He's popping and locking. You never know what to use for this fight. Yeah, I mean, they, they seem to set up you for the minigun, but then I'm like, well, what do I do now? Okay. Well, that's it. Can't be too much more to worry about. It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here. Good line there, Claire. Don't look outside the cartridge, uh, the carriage rather. I'm sure that connecting carriage is fine. Nothing to worry about. Leon, get on the train.
Yeah, remember as Leon, he kind of like hops on as it's going past almost. So I think he should be all right. Yeah, cover your eyes, Sherry. Don't look at what's outside. I want to see where you live. A little bit of a creepy answer, but sure. Sigh. Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad? Oh yeah. Claire. Leon. How did you get on the moving so train? To I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Who's this? Ever a charmer. This, this is a child. This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. You didn't tell me you had a daughter. Eh, it's a long that? story. I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Don't worry about coming with me. I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous. Okay, what do we got here? We need we need whatever we've got here at this point. Cause this is our this is our last stand. Uh, I guess we'll take another herb, although to be honest, I don't think it matters too much. We got our, our super rounds. Um, we got grenades. Do we actually have... We had another grenade, didn't we? I'll take the other grenade just in case. Um, we don't have any minigun ammo. So there's not really much point keeping the, the minigun, right? I might as well just get rid of it. Because I don't think there's... I don't think we have any more 6.72mm NATO rounds. Unless we find some. Are we going to find any more minigun rounds? Or should I just get rid of it? Because I might as well just take this instead, I feel like. Just in case. A wooden board for old time's sake. I guess we could bring a wooden board. Do you want us to bring a wooden board, Wayne? There you go. We'll bring a wooden board. Just one. You won't get any more. That's fine. Yeah, I feel like we have a decent amount of stuff, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, do I have any more needle cartridges? I do. I just want the one. Okay. I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else in here, but we'll check. Hello, Kyle. Good to see you. Yeah, there might be a window. I mean, there will be... Um, I don't know if I would describe it as a window, but there might be a... Oh, you know what we could make? We could make some... Uh... Um... Some more of these, just in case. That's still not everything. What else is in here? Is there more stuff back here somewhere? Or they just put stuff down the corridor? Oh, they put stuff here. What is this? A knife. I don't really need another knife. Oh, there's more stuff here as well. It's just too many. There's too many things. Why are there so many things? This is just like, this is a speedrun killer. Is there just like, hey, there's some more stuff you could pick up? It's like, yeah, I guess I could. I feel like I have enough stuff, to be honest. How's it going, Kyle? Oh, God. Reload, Claire. Come on, reload. Like Chris likes to say, 
That is Chris's classic phrase. Give it all you got, Claire. Oh right, we could just attach the train cartridge. I don't know why I keep saying train cartridge. Claire, get get on the main. Felt that, did you? How about some more? I do like that you shoot it a bunch and stab it in the eye, even though it's going to be engulfed in a fireball. I guess we won't be uh, seeing him around anytime soon. So, are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend? No, we're just, uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah, that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Come on. <laughs> he might be a creepy man. Or he might just be an ass, but you know, fair enough. Hey, that was live another day by the this guy's just vibing. He was friendly. <laughs> so, is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you damn right we will. <laughs> as long as we stick together. This is the adrenaline talking. We'll be fine. Come on. Hell yeah. See, look, she's fine. Hey, you guys can adopt me. Mm, let's not go too far. <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy. And a parrot. <laughs> I always wanted pets, but my mom's a little too messy. But she's dead now. It's fine. We can get a pet. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. Oh yeah. Where did the time go? Running scared for so many years. And now I'm here. I look round, but I don't see anyone. Everything I love's come and gone. I walk alone with <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. I feel like it took us about the same amount of time as the Leon playthrough. That's good. I like that game. It was a good game. A very good game. It's t I don't know if I like it more or less than Remake 1. It's weird because they're so different. Like 1 is like this little intricate puzzle box of a game and like 2 is kind of like that but it's it's so different because of the way it plays. Um, 2 is definitely more satisfying to play but I think like the the design of the puzzles in one appeals to me a little bit more so like there's a good they're, they're very close but for different reasons
Yeah, Resi 5 is uh, is from Martin's stream. But I mean, I'll be there. You prefer Remake 1? I, I think I, I have it... So I have Remake 1 above Re Remake 2 on my, my personal list. Um... But it's it, it. This is an easier game to recommend, I think, uh, to someone who hasn't played any of them, just because it, it plays like a modern game where remake one doesn't. Um, but I still think a lot of people would enjoy remake one. Yeah, exactly, Pascal. They're they they're, they're very different. Uh, like remake one is obviously fairly faithful to the original style. Whereas this is completely different. And even Remake 1, you know, you could, I'm sure, like, people who love the original game... Um, ...would have, like, specific things to say about them. A soloist going off. This is an this is a, this is an appropriate song for the end of this game. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Wayne. I, I would say it's slightly less extreme than those examples, but but yeah, I like remake two is definitely a little bit higher stakes, but like remake one is still a lot of shooting zombies. Um. So like it's not it's not like it's as quiet as Alien is, but um, Dazza and Bazza, <laughs> love it. The boys. So yeah, I've got to play something else next. <laughs> that's uh, that's how this works. Uh, I've been thinking about a few things. I don't really know what I'm gonna play. Um, I was contemplating, uh, I I'm contemplating doing some Hollow Knight, maybe on the nights Martin's not around, uh, so that I don't spoil it for him, because he's also playing through it. Um, but I would like to play some more of that game. Uh, stream possibilities. I put a few things on here. Mission Impossible on PS1. I don't have that, but I could probably find it. Uh, it's an interesting idea. I wouldn't. I'm not opposed to the idea of streaming some old games. Certainly, that is a, a possible theory. Um, uh, I I'm still contemplating uh, playing Yakuza. I do want to play Yakuza Seven, um, so that's a possibility. I was talking to Kyle about Akami. He thinks Akami is very slow. Uh, is the thing he said, but certainly a possibility. Um, Yeah, slow start. Amazing game. Rugrats Search for Reptar. If I had a way to play that, I would be kind of tempted to play Rugrats. Is a, that is a good game. That's a game I enjoyed a lot. Um, I have fond memories. I don't know if I owned it. I think I borrowed it off a friend. Uh, so I don't think I still have my copy of it. Although my PS1 is at my parents' house. So... Um, have to uh, I'd have to to look into other alternatives. I was thinking about trying Hades. I don't know how well Hades will run uh, as streaming. That's the thing. It's like I I want to do some PC sh test streaming because it's been a while. Uh, first game you finished in a single sitting. Which games? Which game did you finish in a single sitting? Rugrats Search for Reptar. You finished... Are you talking about Rugrats? Okay, huh. I feel like it took me... I spent so long playing the mini golf in Rugrats Search for Reptar. Just because it was good. Yeah, not your 120... I was going to say, your, uh, your Akami can't have been one sitting. I know you stay up late sometimes, but that would be a lot. Um, I don't think it would be 120 hours if I played Akami. I do want to play that. I mean, I've had it for so long. And just just haven't ever gotten around to it uh, also contemplated um, 
a lot shorter one which is Shadow of the Colossus, but I'm more inclined to play Akami than I am Shadow of the Colossus. Um of the two. Um I could play Crash Team Racing. That's a good video game. I don't know I feel like watching a single player kart racing campaign is not the most exciting thing. Um but maybe it'll be right. That was a little bit shorter than I think I think we hit eight hours with Leon. Um yeah, Yakuza. I I, did, I I thought about either doing Yakuza three or Yakuza seven. They are both very big, but <laughs> Carl says we'll get over the beginning of Akami. So this is the thing: is I I suggested Akami, and Carl's like, ah, uh, it is very it it's got a very slow start, and it sound it seemed like he was trying to unsell me on it. And to be fair, I did I did go like, oh, this would be good, and I looked it up, and it said fifty plus hours, and I was like. Hmm, maybe, mm, maybe that maybe that is quite long. Um But uh Yeah, we'll see. It it'll be something. Um Let's have a look and see what we've unlocked before we head off. Heron emerges, broken umbrella. You die over there. Packed backpack. Gun Enthusiast. And a new game mode in Extra Modes. The Fourth Survivor. Hello. What's going on in here? Oh, that's that's the uh, the person's wife in uh, Irons' office. Oh, well, that's very sinister. Wow. Now do the hardcore S plus rank. <laughs> Martin, I know Mark. Yeah, Martin would love that. It, Martin, I don't know that you would love me to speed run this game because I wouldn't. I would just keep picking stuff up, and you'd be like, "What are you doing? You're wasting time." Yeah, the mayor's daughter. That's who it is. Yeah. Um, got some uh, some. The jiggly deliciousness, the perfect chewiness, an acquired taste. An exquisite. This is like the five stages of except of uh, the five stages. Not the five stages of grief, but like the five stages of like horniness. Um, concept art. Look at this G stage three. I think we've actually seen these before. Look at that G four. Look at that. Remember G four? Oh, that's stage five. What is stage four? Is stage four just when you fight him on the train car, I guess. Tyrant. It's weird, yeah, you really don't see too much of Tyrant in Claire's playthrough, which is kind of nice. You don't have to deal with him as much. We've got some models. Ada in the trench coat. Sherry in the school uniform. Looking terrified. Marvin Branner, big Marvin Branner, rest in peace. Will Birkin. Who's Ivy? Oh, that's that. Okay. Broom HC. Little hand cannon. Loads of guns, loads of uh, little bits and bobs. <laughs> We've all been there. Stage four is dog Birkin. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, to be fair, um, there's a lot of jiggly deliciousness going on in uh, in Birkin in those end fights. Like he had a very, he had all the little jiggly eyes in his uh, in his uh, tummy, which is very fun. You do have to knife only the first Birkin fight. Wow, that uh, that sounds like a lot. Okay, beautiful. Oh, that's gonna do it, I think. That is Resident Evil 2. And there's Resident Evil 3. It looks like that. There's a weekly challenge available as well. Fantastic. Alright. Well, we're going to wrap up there. Thanks to everyone who came along. It's been a pleasure and a delight, as always, to have you here. And uh, that's going to be the, the end of the weekend. It is Sunday night. And uh, we're going to wrap ourselves up and, uh, and head on out to 
The Dark Knights. Kyle, Kyle, your turn to stream. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for coming along. It's been a pleasure. Carlos is awesome. Carlos is pretty cool. I do like I do like Carlos's hair in uh, the remakes of, of three. Very cool. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming by. Um, have a lovely evening. Take care. Stay safe out there. Remember to eat well and sleep well as always. And <laughs> Kyle, Kyle with a the sass. There you go. See, we've missed it. We were saying earlier, it's not the same without Kyle's sass around. All right. Take care. Have a lovely evening. And uh, I'll catch you all very soon. Cheers.